Hello everyone, welcome back! Didn't even give me a lead in this time. <laughs> we were so much talking about Tales of Symphonia before starting this episode, it was fun. We won't say a single thing either, because... Reasons. <laughs> anyway, that was a good Eric time. Eric dies. What? Eric dies. Eric died? I don't even know who that is! <laughs> There, there are so many things wrong with what you just said. You said Eric. I said Aerith. Yeah, I said Eric. God damn it. A E R I T H. <laughs> it's the silhouette of the killer with his gun at the ready. Wait, I already read this. God dang it. Anyway, what about this? Oh, this is different. Was the victim really wearing a costume? Maybe we can find if we did some footprint analysis forensics. Anyway. Oddly specific. Why are you talking to her? <laughs> I thought we had to talk to Old Bag or something. No, you have to talk to her to get her footprint spray. Okay, then. I'll go ahead and do that. Emma, about the method you were talking about for finding footprints. That you just so happened to conveniently bring up earlier for no reason. Exactly. Ah, oh, finally, my expert knowledge in forensics is needed. Yes, well, can you detect the trace and trace even partial footprints? What? Leave it to me. My cutting-edge detection kit can find anything. Very well, if you could please analyze the footprints in this area. Okay, stand back now, and witness the power of science at work. Science? <laughs> what, what is she doing? I was gonna say. Oh, she turned it off. Probably makes it easier, I guess. Hey, I found something! Look right there! I don't see anything. Oh, that's right! Here, put these special glasses on, Mr. Edgeworth. Surprise, surprise, surprise. These footprints were here. That's not even where she was spraying. Nope. These footprints here were definitely left by a badger costume. Judging by the way the prints are layered, those seem to be the newest. Then we can conclude that the victim was definitely wearing a costume at the time. Victim's costume data just so wait a minute. The organizer. She needs the glasses as well as the black light and the foot spray? I don't know. You would think know. the spray and the light would be enough. I do not know. Okay, in that case, I'll update Little Thief's situation parameters. Simulation parameters. I can't wait to see what we find out from this new info. A simulation, yeah! A little bit like the Master Emerald for a second. What? That looked a little bit like the Master Emerald for a second. Did it now? So the victim was wearing a costume when he died. That still doesn't line up right. Why not? And with that, we should be one step closer to finding the truth, right? Because he was shot in the abdomen and the bullet exited through his shoulder. Hmm. I see the recreation has changed in accordance with the new information. We may be closer, but now something else has caught my attention. Probably what I just said. Probably. Still looks like the Master Emerald. About that. What do you want? Ow. <laughs> Your testimony naturally. I'd like to hear it one more time, if you please. And now you're going to be able to cross examine her, I think. <laughs> testimony, what's old bag witness? I came here to stay here and take a short break. As I was resting, I happened to collect all my guys who made me think of that area. Suddenly there was a loud country out of the mountain when I was on the ground. It was a very terrifying experience, let me tell you. Was that the same testimony? I don't remember. I don't know. So, does this mean that Miss Oldbag's testimony has a contradiction in it? It sounded yes. the same. Yeah, I thought so, but I'm not 100% sure either, because it was about, <laughs> like, 25 minutes ago or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, and I believe our best course of action is to compare it with your recreation. See, I just knew Little Thief would be of help. Now let's see if we can pull more info from Miss Old... Info? Info from Miss Oldbag and... Put it in the recreation. Infro! You're gonna pull an afro off Miss Old Bag. <laughs> For that, we must first find the contradiction in your testimony. Doesn't. Oh, I was gonna say, doesn't she have an afro? Like a kind of a mini afro already? Not really. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's not really afro. I mean, it's kind of roundish shaped like an afro, but it's not really afro afro, I guess. No, it's not, no. It's not afro samurai. Well, it's Old Bag witnessed. I, I, I came to. The, the, anyway. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Hold it! 
You really took a break from being the pink badger. Oh wait, I can skip this. Yeah, because we already did this, I think. Wow! I can't believe it! Well, in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and save! Alright, Toad. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save again, because why not? Oh yeah! I haven't used this voice in so long! Well, this voice is like in retirement, pretty much. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Seriously, man. It's like, this is like an ex exclusively for male toads. Well, I mean... It's not very often we find somebody as obnoxious as Colette or Toad. As a Toad. <laughs> uh, that's also something we've done before. Well, hey, where, where's, that, where's that Toad at? I need some Toads. Jeez, oh. <laughs> I you could have voiced else. Meekins as that. I think that would have fit him pretty well. Oh, no. <laughs> <coughs> no, I, I gotta give him a stereotypical no. Asian accent, you know? Why? He doesn't look Asian. He doesn't look, What do you mean? He looks freaking as Asian as can be. Jeez. Can be. Sir, I am very insulted that you don't think I look Asian. I am very proud no, of my Asian descent. No, that's not Asian. You make him sound Indian. <laughs> I am very proud of my Asian descent. <laughs> Oh crap, this was new. Dot dot dot. I don't even know what it is she said. Dot 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 dot. Well, don't tell me you have anything to say to me! No, not especially. Alright. You're so cool, Reggie Boo! But that is exactly what I like about you! Hold it! I don't have anything to say! You sure are one tough cookie. It's one part unshakable and one part scary. Why do you smart about the US busy? What do you know about my friend you're at? What? Knowing what we know now, thanks to your recreation. The contradiction stands out like a giant sore thumb. I haven't gotten new evi oh wait, I have gotten new as evidence. <laughs> as evidence? <laughs> as evidence. Did you even read that new evidence? You're right! Cried, my gosh. I, I forgot it existed and I also forgot to read it too. <laughs> Victim's costume. Type information discovered in the stadium. He was likely wearing one due to the footprint shape and the lack of blood. Blood! He was likely wearing one due to the footprint shape and the lack of blood. Okay, well, anyway. Wait, that's you. I think you already read I that. I already though. read it. Precisely. It's all becoming clear to me that you already read that. Let's clear up this issue with some well-presented evidence and get this over with. Okie dokie then! I keep saying like, uh, 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 Basically, the new thing is probably what you have to present evidence on, especially considering they didn't say anything at each other. More than likely, as I was resting, I happened to glance over and gun, suddenly there was a loud gunshot, and the person who was shot fell to the ground! It was a very terrifying experience, let me tell you. Uh, uh, suddenly, what? But, I was ready, I have to blend two men, wait, no, you couldn't have known it was two men if they were in a costume. You couldn't have. Objection! Objection! I knew it! Two men, how do you know the gender of the two people involved? Seeing as how the victim was wearing a costume at the time. Ah! Furthermore, I have another matter I'd like to inquire about. I'd very much like to know why you failed to mention the costume in your testimony. Ah! I'm beginning to doubt if you really witnessed the murder at all. But I'm telling you, I really didn't see it! I saw my own very own, my very own eyes! My own very own eyes. <laughs> Ow. From this scene to the second tier! The second tier? Hey, didn't you say you saw it right in front of you earlier? Were you eating a chip? <laughs> yeah. I knew it. <laughs> I was also distracted and I wasn't looking at the screen. That was, you know, I was using the phrase in the metaphorical sense! <sighs> I'm sighing in my thoughts again. I see our witness still has a screw loose in the metaphorical sense. But could you see it's in the second tier? I'm a for Ash, I'm VIPs! She has a literal screw loose. <laughs> what? In the metaphorical sense, like, it's in plot, never mind, whatever. <laughs> what do you think exactly why I go there now? I can't take a nap! I can't see how you could have gotten a good look from there. It's so high up. Were you able to see even the victim's costume from way up there? 
But I know that's how to be better! But I couldn't really see what they look like because they were in the same shadow! Really? That's... Uh, okay, I mean, it was, I'm assuming it was daylight out, but whatever. In the shadow of the stage, it was hard to make out the killer and the victim that the old bag saw in the stage's shadow. Well, that's nice. Logic! My eyes are the way it used to be, you know! Now look when I was young! I got a good man around me, so I was a common judgment! I like how it faded out. <laughs> At least I got to see the word judgment before that faded out. <sighs> Let's return to our investigation, shall we, Kay? I swear, if they cut me off before I said judgment, I would have had a, I would have had a fit with that one. <laughs> you got it. What are we doing now? What are we doing now? What are we doing now? Master Ooh. Emerald. Oh, what? We're doing more investigation. Stadium. <laughs> more investigation. Stadium. Where is his footprints coming from? It's turning to PBG for a second. What? Stadium! <laughs> okay, I guess he does do that a lot. <laughs> it's a <so> Pikachu! <laughs> oh my gosh, anyway. <laughs> this new silhouette of the victim isn't a costume. They say silhouettes can change depending on the information I input. Did I say they say? I don't know where <laughs> that came from. I don't know. <laughs> but a little thief can recreate more than just people. So I investigate, so investigate away. We may even find more info which... with which to make the, a more accurate simp. I don't know why I can't read now. I guess because I was laughing too much. Alright, sounds like a plan. What, not reading very well is a plan? Alright, that's cool, I guess. Yeah. Aww. Wait, no, there's new evidence presents! Why is she still confused about the simulation? She's old. Old people don't understand simulations and technology. Uh, okay. okay. Nothing, nothing new about that, then! Why would you think it would be? I don't know. Maybe she had comments about things and whatnot. What? Right. Uh, what? <laughs> I was being her. Oh, I see. What happened? What is this? That is amazing! What? Yeah, for analysis. Thanks to you, I'm able to proceed with my investigation once again. Thank you. I was nothing! I'm just glad that science and I could be of service! Pretty amazing how we could see the footprints. So what's the secret behind that thing? Oh, you wanna know? Um, here, you can read the manual! Aha, very interesting. So if I do this, I can avoid leaving footprints. She can't seriously be trying to use the information to her advantage as a thief. Wait. Wait. <laughs> this can't be. I'm getting a realization right now that she doesn't know what she's actually doing. That's unfortunate. What? I don't know. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, logic? <laughs> Sage was packed up in... Um... Uh... Oh. Uh, uh. I wasn't gonna say anything. I see. I understand now. <laughs> I didn't even notice that for some reason. <laughs> if that woman's testimony is to be believed, the murder occurred before the stage was broken down. You want me to input that bit of info in the little thief? Yes, if you please. Okay. Okie dokie then. Okay. Oh, oh I see. Now it's gonna add the dotted lines! Oh, wait, what? That's what? a contradiction. Oh... Uh, <laughs> but this is still, still not in dotted lines, though, so... No, he's just a very short man. There's oh. the dotted lines. Oh. That was added after. The dotted lines means that it wasn't there in the past. But it's there now. Oh! I see now. Uh, oh, yeah, hey, there's a mic up there. What kind of ninja is the German nin- What? He's no slouch. No way. You Jesus Christ. You bet. I'm not reading this. What? No, you gotta read it, man. You're the best German ninja. Everyone is trying to thank you. How was that? <laughs> How was what? You know, it would be really awesome if we put a band together. I can see it now. A great thief and a prosecutor stealing the hearts of millions around the world. Well, um, 
later down the line you get a prosecutor doing that, so you don't really got a great beat in that in that thing going on. But... Well, you don't know. You don't know who's in his band. I'm assuming there's not a. Well, they're all cops, so I mean, I'm pretty sure there's not. Maybe a it's her father. The only instruments I can play are the flute and the piano. You can play the flute while playing the piano? That's really fresh. How many hands do you think to? Wait. How many hands do you think? <laughs> wow. Jeez, that actually was right. <laughs> Besides, I haven't even agreed to anything yet. This is an official localization. Yeah, isn't it just amazing? No. Wait, did I get new organizing? No, I didn't. It's amazing how, like, how many spelling mistakes there are in these <laughs> games. Yeah, no kidding. Battle of the Magicians. Max Galactica versus Troop Grimare. Alright. Alright, so they added an Apollo Justice reference to that. And tomorrow there will be a concert by the hip... What? No! <laughs> by the hip new rock band, the Gaviniers. Not that either of those stage shows interests me in the least. Well, there you I'm... go, there's your Apollo Justice reference. I was actually not so, expecting that. Pretty sure this game did come out after Apollo Justice. It did, I mean, we said that on the airplane, but... <laughs> I don't so... know, I don't... I think I pay attention when you talk? You you acknowledged it! You even said they were probably developing the games at the same time, and you said they were probably just starting development on this game first or something like that, because this is more complicated complicated or something. What? Uh, complicated. Complicated? <laughs> complicated! What is completed? Oh for Pete's sake. <laughs> There's clearly a contradiction here. I can't tell if you're messing with me or if you're seriously hearing it wrongly. <laughs> uh, wait, is that actually the Gaviniers logo right there? Probably. Huh. I wonder. Please stop stealing my lines. Oh, come on. It wasn't that hard to see it coming, even for a layman like me. I suppose. In any case, it's not possible for the killer to have stood here in that way. Because there was a very real stage set up in this spot at that time. Eesh, I told you I got it. Do you need- do you feel the need to explain everything? Yes. Well, in any case, we still need to resolve this unusual situation. Isn't it obvious? The killer was on top of the stage, naturally. Right, Miss Oldbag? Yes, I remember now the killer was standing on top of the stage! See? Now let me update the info in the simulation. Updated with the Master Emerald! <laughs> Oh, there that we go. That makes even less sense. Why? Because he was shot in the abdomen and it came out. No. His shoulder. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, no. Tell us you read that first. Well, well, what have we here? A bunch of hooligans running amok, I see. So, that's not what it said, isn't it? Didn't it say he got shot in the shoulder? Oh. Shot through the abdomen. Oh. Entry point lower right abdomen, exit point right shoulder. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh. So, so this they... still isn't right. So that must mean there was a second murder. Maybe? Maybe. Hmm. hmm. I wonder. I do wonder. Well, I guess we'll find out about that eventually. <laughs> Possibly. If I remember correctly, he has like a rock song that plays whenever he shows up. Eh, it sounds like smooth jazz to me or something like that. I don't, don't freaking know. <laughs> I don't know my musical genres very well, so I don't know if this is jazz or some other... Like a rock jazz, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. It has been a while, but I remember guitar. It, was like a, it sounds like a saxophone more than anything, really. I just... I don't know. I can't hear it. Yeah, obviously you can't. I'm letting everyone else hear it, though. <laughs> anyway, Agent Lang, how nice of you to join us. Well, I can't have you going around messing up my crime scenes. Agent Lang, you discover that the real scene of the murder is here in the stadium. I see. Thanks. For what? I'm just trying to show you my appreciation for all the time you saved me. Who knew that such a strange little toy could recreate a crime scene like that? Wait, saw all that? Little Thief is not a toy! You two. Sir! <laughs> sir, yeah, sir! 
Edgeworth pointing at his head for some reason. <laughs> Good job. Way to point at things, man. And there you have it. You see, big boys like me don't need silly toys, little girl. <sighs> now this is a recreation. So what? Do you still intend to assert that Officer Meekins is the killer? Of course. Even knowing that the crime took place here doesn't let him off, off the hook. Argument! Argument? Agent Lang's logic? This is the real scene of the crime. Officer Meekins lay in wait for the victim on top of the stage. Then when the victim finally showed, he shot him from on high. That's the truth of your little- that's the truth your little recreation showed. Hmm... How far well, will you go to accuse Officer Meekins of the crime? Obviously, with what I said a little while ago, the contradiction is clear. <laughs> he's got- he's the most likely suspect we've got, especially given the situation with his gun. Yeah, I agree, but it seems a little bit weird, like you're contradicting your own freaking recreation, basically, so it's like, okay. Your recreation is only shown with evidence given. If you don't have all of the evidence, then recreation is flawed. Uh, I guess it is, isn't it, now? So, yeah. Well, even if he is the killer, at least my recreation was on the mark. What a blue badger on that freaking drum set up there. Gosh dang it. Looks like it. <laughs> You see, thank you for your understanding, my little crow girl. I almost said cowgirl. Yeah, I thought that was going to be what he was going to say there. <laughs> uh, I'm not some common crow. I'm the other aggressive, a raven of legend. Unfortunately, your conclusion is yet to be tested, so let's see how well it holds up. Rebuttal Agent Lang's logic. Shit-eating grin. <laughs> this is I... the real scene of the crime. I hate that. Oops. I hate that grin. <laughs> He's so full of himself. <laughs> anyway, every, though. Every rival character is He's, even pain. He's more, more, like I said, he's more over the top than they are. Like, Not just, really. Every He does it in a snobby way, though. You know, I, I like it when they're they're full of no, themselves, but in a, like, you know. It's worth like, a total snob in the first game. But this guy, I don't know. I just, I just don't like this guy. <laughs> It's hard to explain, I just don't, like, there's some prosecutors, like, Edgeworth was cool, I guess. I Apparently was Edgeworth cool. was supposed to be, like, return as the antagonist in the second game. But Why did? Why he was didn't so they? popular, he was so popular in the first game that he did, they didn't want him to just be losing over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why they made him the, the defense attorney in the third game. <laughs> For that one case, anyway. Then gave him his own spin-off series. Looks like we found the real crime scene first. <laughs> Brag all you want, but we don't have all the free time unlike you, the two of you. All that free time. <laughs> you know what you remind me of? A dog licking his wounds as he whimpers home. Well, I guess I should be thankful. <laughs> Good God, I even said that like him. <laughs> For all the time you saved me. I guess I should be thankful. Like Falco? <laughs> yeah. I guess I should be thankful. Ja, G, 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 what? I would have said ZZ. Well, in Chinese, X is like a Ja noise, like shaman. Is it? In Shaolong. Is he Chinese? I thought he was like freaking, I don't know. Maybe Zhang I'm... Fa is the new China. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we say <laughs> thanks in my country. And maybe Borginia is the new Denmark or something, because, I mean, they, they couldn't have just imaginarily popped out of nowhere or something like that. They had to have, like, taken the place of an existing country. That's the only thing that would make any sense. I think. I don't know. It's also not real. Well, obviously it's not, but I'm just saying it has to exist somewhere. It can't, they couldn't have just made For all we know, in this, in this universe, there's, like, a whole, like, Europe is five times as big as it is... In reality, I'm just saying that they couldn't have just made like an imaginary country appear out of nowhere. That it, it had to like like a landmass, I should say. They had to like made it take the place of like some other country, right? No, they I'm didn't. Thinking. That's the that's the beauty of fiction. No they can do whatever they want because it's not real. I mean, what did a freaking gigantic volcano explode and then suddenly had like a 50 mile? For all we know, in this, out of in this reality, the landmass could have been there since the beginning of time. <laughs> This is an alternate reality. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. In all the reality, this isn't true. You're welcome. I hope you realize we didn't do all this for him. The localization says that in this reality, Japan won World War II when invaded, like, a whole bunch of Japanese immigrants invaded freaking America. Yeah, well, I mean, I buy that. What, what I don't buy is that an imaginary country away. appeared out of nowhere without that's it not taking the... That's how explain away the freaking Japanese influence in everything. Yeah, I, I get it. That's viable. What I don't buy is an imaginary country just materializing out of nowhere and not taking the place of some... Like I said, it's Europe. not. It's possible that it didn't materialize out of nowhere. It's possible that it, the landmass was always there from the beginning of time in this universe. That's why my theory is that it just simply took the place of another country. Like maybe, maybe Borgenia's Denmark, maybe Zengfa's China. Maybe that's no. what happened. I mean, I don't know. For, you know have it's they ever acknowledged that China or Denmark exists? It's fiction. They've only acknowledged England and Japan. I think. I don't think they've. America. Have they acknowledged Japan? I don't even know if they have, but... Yeah, in America, obviously, because that's where it is, but anyway. Whatever. I didn't read that. I thought you did. Whatever. <laughs> I'm taking over here something. As I was saying, this is where the crime took place. Officer Meekins lay in wait for the victim on top of the stage. That's what happens when we take too long to start saying things. I, I assume that it was already read or something like that. You're just being stupid. Lying in wait. How did Officer Meekins even know the victim was going to come here? Simple. He was investigating kidnappers, right? And while he was doing so, he came to understand the victim, Mr. Deacon's movements. Objection! Objection! Huh. And why would the good officer want to ambush and kill a kidnapper? Not so fast. Not so fast. You mean his motive? Who knows and who cares? You can find that out for yourself when you talk to him in jail. Hmm. You have no respect for the order of law. Don't get me wrong, but I need to... I need more than there's no motive to convince me otherwise. He's right. The lack of a motive by is a rather weak argument by itself. So the officer lay in wait on top of the stage. And when the victim finally showed, he shot him from on high. So you agree with how our recreation turned out? Like I said, I'm grateful you were able to save me some time. Alright, but we still don't know why he chose to wait on top of the stage. Who cares? Maybe he wanted to become the Blue Badger. Who's to say he didn't see the stage and decide to put on a Badger stage show of his own? Or maybe there's a completely different reason. What does it matter? It still doesn't change the fact that the Officer Meekins stood up on that stage and shot the victim on the ground below. That's the truth of your little recreation showed. So you honestly believe that what you're saying is what's really occurred? Hey, you're the ones who came up with this scenario. Are you saying you doubt yourselves? <laughs> Touché. Unfortunately, Agent Lang's conclusions do not contradict with our recreation. Hmm, then does that mean it all went down just as he says? No, not quite. I wonder if what we had recreated earlier was the whole truth. It obviously was not. Yeah. I think it's another reason why, because you said that his not-so-fast thing was his, like your second favorite quote thing. Yeah, my second favorite character quote. I don't really hold it that high in regard, probably, probably because I don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Do you, do you consider him... Do you like him as a rival? Not in this case, but later on I remember him getting better. Okay, I guess, I guess I'll... I guess I'll withhold judgment until the end, but right I now... I mean, Edgeworth, Edgeworth was a total prick at the start of the first game. <laughs> that is true. But yeah, I, I, guess, I don't know. I, I, guess, I guess right now I'm not too high on him, but I guess I'll withhold final judgment until the end, obviously. So it should be this one, right? Yeah. Yep. Objection! Objection! Ah! It's smug, freaking shoulders. I'm terribly sorry, Agent Lang. Hmm? I should have warned you that our recreation is incomplete. You cut in quite unexpectedly, after all. What's that supposed to mean? You said that the victim was shot by the killer from up above, correct? 
I hate to break it to you, but that's not possible. Huh? Why not? Why are you oh. over there? <laughs> we call Mr. Deacon's body, specifically where the gunshot wounds were located. Mm, actually, I didn't get that good of a look. Oh, well then. The bullet entered Mr. Deacon in his abdominal reason region. <laughs> you got abdominal right for once and then screwed up region. <laughs> and exited his right shoulder. This is more consistent with an angled shot from beneath the victim. Okay. Then... Yes, our recreation had the victim being shot at an angle from above. A clear contradiction, so it's the opposite. Yeah, pretty much, I guess. Yeah, the, the guy who shot was on the ground, and the guy who was shot was on the stage. What was he laying for? Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe the killer was laying prone or something in front of the stage. And like, I don't freaking know. Alright. <laughs> You're discounting your own conclusions? No, this one point is the only flaw. This was the mistaken parameter in our re recreation. Oh, gosh dang these choices! Oh, come on, this one's obvious, Let I me, just said- I, I haven't even read them yet. This was the mistaken parameter in our recreation. The stage's location, the witness's location, the killer and the victim's location. Okay. I just said it. Yes, the locations of the killer and the victim were wrong. Nah, I get it, I see what you're trying to say. I believe the killer and the victim were standing opposite to what we initially thought. It was the victim who was on top of the stage as the being shot by the killer. What does that change? I don't know. So, oh my gosh. That still seems a little bit too low, though. That also implies that the killer was wearing a costume, because look at the footprints. Yeah, it does, now doesn't it? Now this is what happened. It also explained the positioning of the gunshot wounds. But then, what about the footprints? I'm, like, I'm a foot ahead of the freaking race. You're always three steps ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Since footprints don't lie, we can assume then that the killer will also wore a costume. Also, it looks like Edgeworth is artifacting. He might be. What is artifacting? Don't worry about it. Okay, I'll try using that data instead. I, I definitely noticed something goofy with him, but I mean, I don't know if that's what artifacting is. I mean, like, what the heck is artifacting? Move no, on. I don't want to. I want you to explain artifacting to <laughs> me. No, I'm done explaining things to you. Explain it to me! <laughs> ah, judging, 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 judging. Well, hey, the people in the comments, since he's not going to explain it to me, how would you tell me what artifacting is? Because I'm not going to think to look this up, so... Thank Dude, you! the killer's obviously old bag. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Judging by the fact that both the killer and the victim were wearing costumes. Also, this kind of screws you up, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does. I said it was I mean, a killer between was wearing the two a costume. That would be the most natural conclusion. Wouldn't you agree, Agent Lang? You just proved that the killer was wearing a costume. Meekins is wearing a costume. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Mr. Prosecutor. But that alone doesn't clear Officer Meekins of the crime. Well, oh my gosh, more argument. <laughs> argument, another bit of proof. I ask that you take another good look at the tire marks over there. The three marks are indicative of the Blue Badger Mobile. The story that Officer Meekins told about another shop on wheels getting stolen was just a lie. He drove the Blue Badger Mobile here and committed the murder. Then he used the car to move the body to the garage in the Wild Wild West area. No? You believe he moved the body with the car? That's right. It was Officer Meekins himself who pointed us to the way he did it. The three tired tread marks are very telling. However... Is the Blue Badger Mobile the only thing capable of creating such a pattern? There's literally four of them! <laughs> Rebuttal, I'm not a bit of proof! I ask that you take another good look at the tire marks over there. Well, anyway, I think we're done for today. We're gonna be discrediting some cars, probably. Something related to vehicles. 
mean, the fact that there's a blue one and a pink one would imply that there's one for each of the four characters. That is likely the case, now isn't it? But will we be proving that is the case? That is a good question. I have no idea. We'll see you at the next exciting episode there, everyone. See you all later.